whatever you do, don't fall asleep. My name is Deandra Laser, and I play Nancy Thompson. It's really weird to say that. Nancy in a few short words. I think it's really hard to describe her in just a few words, because there's not only a lot about her character itself, but also from my perspective on the impact she's had on me. Of course, you know, when we first saw her in the first nightmare, she was younger, she was feisty. And then when we see her again in the third film, she is more calm, more focused, and she's more grown up. And it is between the first and the third film that she really has to make that decision to buckle down and to, to change for what her destiny is and what she understands that she needs to do. And so she's smart, of course she's determined, and she cares about people. And that's ultimately one of the things why she does what she does is because it's about other people, it's not about herself. It's about saving them and protecting them and not letting this happen again. And I think she's just an extremely selfless character. And I think that's very, very, very powerful. Maybe it just takes a few doses before it works. He knows I'm here. Who? Who knows you're here? Fred Krueger. I didn't think he was strong enough to kill me. Fear is what gives him his strength. He's not regained his full strength yet. So when I first got the script, I thought it was really awesome. I thought it had a big punch to it. And then as we started to go through it again, I thought it was it started to get even deeper, and I think it is a very emotional story, and to be able to contribute to that story, as far as writing goes, has been pretty amazing, because when you write something and you see it come to life, it was pretty mind-boggling, and I think what we have is an extremely deep tale about a person and about her transformation, and it's not really a horror film, it's, it's a drama about horror because we are telling the story of, of somebody's struggle about uh, their growth and it's not about the killer. He is behind all of this but he's really symbolic uh, and a lot of the things that Wes was and Wes had intended for Freddy to be, he is that again I feel in this movie. The set in this set was pretty cool. When I first walked in there, I was like, this is so nightmare. And every single place we went, it felt super 80s. And especially being in that boiler room, it was wild climbing up all those different places. It was, and then when we turned it off and we were actually like on set, it was, it was creepy. I had the heebie-jeebies. Watching Freddy walk through there, I mean, as many times as I've seen it in Run Elm Street, I was scared crapless. Now, I've known William for a long time. He has always been my Freddy. But really, to see him in that set, when we first come onto that set and we were scouting locations, I just said, William is going to, this is gonna be his playground. And then when he finally went in there and he did it and I was there in the pajamas, it was, that was incredible. I mean, he owned it. He owned it in every aspect, no matter where he was. He really became Freddy, and he was terrifying. I mean, the way he moved, the way he talked, and for me to be there with him, I legitimately felt scared because he was doing such an incredible job. So, props to you, William, because you kick butt, buddy. You're good at that. Thank you. In, in your other life, you were a child murdering A <laughs> couple of things that I really love about horror is that I think it's so misunderstood and it is a lot deeper. I don't know a lot of what goes into the behind the scenes of the symbolism for dramas or comedy, but I really feel there's a lot of commentary and a lot of academia behind horror films um, about psychology. And that's one of the reasons why I loved A Nightmare on Elm Street so much was because Wes was an academic and he went forward with the symbolism and he just tapped into so many aspects 
that I feel really resonate with people, even if they can't understand why. They, they feel it. They feel what he had intended. And so I think horror is very smart. I think the people are great, and I think it's like one big happy family who's sometimes covered in blood. Well, what do I think about the directors, Michelle and Paige? I could have a few words for them. Just kidding. <laughs> I love them. I think they are brilliant in the fact that they pulled this off. The two of them really putting this together over, you know, Columbus and Chicago. I just, it's, it's mind blowing. And if we ever had any hiccups, they were able to handle it. They were able to figure it out. They have been on top of everything. They have put their heart and soul into it, blood, sweat, and tears, literally. And I think that they both have such amazing talents that they bring to this and I think it comes across beautifully throughout the entire film because it would not be what it is without them. And I wouldn't be who I am without them. So, I love them. Rolling. Sound 79. Action. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, the door was locked. No, it's Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is the question I'd hoped that they would save for last. What are my feelings on a nightmare on Home Street? When you have a movie that really changes your life, I mean, really helps you grow into who you are and it changes your perspective on how things can work in this world and the people you can meet and what is possible. It is so powerful and you defend it and you fight for it because you care about all of it because it really has done something and people who don't understand they probably will never understand. Even if they have their own perspective, they'll never have your perspective. So A Nightmare on Elm Street started out as me just being afraid and then I had a dream and I woke up weirdly enough and I was in love with the movies not knowing much about them at the time but I just was in love with the idea it was very weird and then it grew from there and it's just kept growing and it's introduced me to so much and it's really expanded my mind not just as far as people go but as far as the art of filmmaking and storytelling and I love that series with all my heart and I am so thankful for it. Sound file 12. Action. <laughs> this is a dream. This is real. This is happening to me. Like, Fans, I would say, hi everybody. <laughs> You're my family. You guys have been so supportive of everything. You all have such great talents out there that you bring to the table, and look at all of us here. Look at all of us, we're all fans, we made this possible. And we do this for you guys, we do this as a labor of love. We're not taking anything away from it personally. This is really a story that we wanted to tell, and we wanted to tell it to you, and we really hope you like it, because we do. We love it. Have you ever heard of Weston Hills? Ah!